Oh, Rod Rosenstein, we hardly knew ye. He's leaving and William Barr could be staying home. Deputy AG Rosenstein announcing today he's resigning from the DOJ after 30 years on the job. Go to the private sector, Rod. He was obviously a central character in the Russia investigation, was frequently a target of President Trump. And this comes as his boss, Attorney General William Barr, God, I miss Jefferson Beauregard Sessions, threatens to skip Thursday's testimony before the House Judiciary Committee. Barr reportedly very upset with the format proposed that would allow both parties' committee lawyers to ask questions. A DOJ spokesperson says Barr agreed to testify before members of Congress and not their counsels, but committee chair Jerry Nadler says the format is not up to him. So there. Mm. The attorney general is afraid to uh, subject himself to, uh, to questions uh, where you can follow up all that. that that may indicate uh, lack of confidence in its own position. And more to the point, uh, we have to get to the bottom of these issues. That's why we've called him in. And it's not up to the attorney general to tell the committee how to conduct this business. You have to get to the bottom of the issues? This is the House Judiciary Committee. Aren't you all lawyers? What is wrong with you? Democrats threatening to subpoena Barr if he doesn't testify, but President Trump has vowed to, quote, fight all the subpoenas. Mm saying this is just a political stunt by Democrats looking to win in 2020. So will Congress get William Barr to testify, or will he take a page out of William H. Macy's notebook in Fargo and flee the interview? Joining me now to discuss former U.S. attorney and Fox News contributor, it is Andrew McCarthy. Welcome back, Andy. Hey, Kennedy. How are you? Uh, this is very funny to me because they're so worked up but they're also showing that they're incredibly incompetent and incapable of questioning the attorney general about a, uh, a report that he did not author. So if they're so concerned right. about what is in or not in the Mueller report, why aren't they training all of their focus on Robert Mueller? Well, they are training their focus. that They want to have him in, too. But this is really uh, much ado about nothing. Basically, the... Democrats want to have a hearing that looks like the Watergate hearings. So the only time that you get this uh, pizzazz of having the lawyer for both sides instead of the members do the interview is when we have something like Watergate or Iran-Contra. And I think Barr doesn't want to give them that optic. And in the meantime, the Trump administration is delighted to have the Democrats fight over this because, you know, essentially the Mueller report came up with nothing on collusion, which is what the Democrats were, uh, you know, telling us all about for two years. So the more they look like they're fighting to have more disclosure of the Mueller report, I think the more people look at this as just, you know, harassment more than anything else. That's fine. So if they if they have issues with what is in the report, and if there are instances that they think add up clearly to obstruction. This is the House Judiciary Committee. These are lawyers, by and large. That's how you get on the committee. At least you have to be pre-law. Uh, and, and they should be able to rationally take a document apart, and if they have questions, circle that passage and ask the attorney general. And I, I don't have a problem with it. I don't, I don't think necessarily that uh, William Barr shouldn't show up. He's the attorney general. I still want to hear from him. But it, it's not exactly like the Kavanaugh hearing. It, it's not Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. And I understand why they, they brought an outside lawyer there, because that was a very, very uh, sensitive issue. And, and she is a private citizen who had a hard time testifying. Well, I, I, I don't know. I think it was a mistake to do it that way. But whether it was or it wasn't, um, you know, I, Barr, this is a voluntary appearance by Barr. So Nadler's quite right. He doesn't get to set the rules for the committee, but he gets to set the rules for if you want me to come voluntarily, this is what has to happen. So if they have to subpoena him, they'll subpoena him. And if they're going to do it by lawyers instead of members of the committee, they'll do that. My sense is that Nadler knows he's got some wild and crazy people on that committee. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a big divide in the Democratic Party about how hard to push for impeachment and how hard to push the Mueller report. I think he wants to keep control over the hearing more than anything else. I don't blame him for doing that, but that doesn't mean Barr needs to play along. Well, it feels like he's already lost control. And, you know, he's saying if Barr doesn't want to do it this way, it just goes to show that he has something to hide. And I don't understand why they're politicizing it 
in this way. If you've got an issue with the president and you think that he has broken the law and if you think he has done something so untoward, uh, it adds up to impeachment, then go after that and say what it is. But there is so yeah. much vagueness here that uh, it's it's really going to hurt Democrats if they're trying to maintain the House and uh, take over the White House in 2020. Yeah, I, I think that's right, Kennedy. The other thing to keep your eye on is Barr is going to testify in the Senate the day before. So it's going to be pretty obvious that he's not afraid to answer questions. He's going to answer questions all day. Mm -hmm. So this is just going to look like a dog and pony show the next day. Well, it's not Westminster. Not yet. Andy <laughs> right. McCarthy, thank you so much. Great to have you.